Hello and welcome. So Mercury is going retrograde on the 23rd of August until the 15th of September in the sign of Virgo. This will first be the introduction. And if you'd like to book a reading, there'll be a link down below. If you'd like to show appreciation for this video, there'll be a link down below. And then I'm going to take you through all 12 signs, okay? So you can go through and watch your sign. Sun, moon, and rising. Your rising sign is most relevant. Your sun sign is secondary. And then your moon sign is more subjective as that's your emotional internal world. Let's talk about this Mercury retrograde happening in the sign of Virgo. Interesting thing to note. So Mercury goes retrograde on the 23rd of August, 2023. Now, Venus is retrograde as well. And Venus will only go direct on the 3rd of September. So this means that the first week, August, going into September, of this Mercury retrograde is pretty intense because we have both Mercury and Venus retrograde. Now, Venus retrogrades have to do with our relationships. It can bring <clears throat> where we decide to break up with people or people break up with us, both in every sense of the word. It doesn't only have to be love. It can also be romantically, it can be friendships. We reassess our relationships as a whole. And also people from the past, including exes, return during Venus retrogrades that probably are thinking about us, or we might be thinking more about our exes. And Venus is retrograde in the sign of Leo. So, so basically, Venus will go direct only on the third. And so because we're dealing with a Venus retrograde and a Mercury retrograde, it kind of increases the energy in the sense that we feel more confused more deflated emotionally. Mercury is a planet that rules over communication, our thought processes, our intellect and information technology as well, and as well as travel. And it can be your vehicle travel as well as airplane travel or forms of travel is Mercury. Mercury is this energy that connects things. It's how we connect through communication. It's how we connect via the internet. So that's why technology, as well as like, I've noticed too during Mercury retrogrades, like when it comes to technical issues where we have, like if you have a remote gate, it's a connection. You press the, the button and the gate moves. You can notice you'll have issues with that as well. So during a Mercury retrograde, we generally notice that we have met with delays and people from the past we enter into our lives because retrogrades take us into the past. It's almost like we have to relook at our past in the current present place that we are to reassess what we have and what we want to continue with moving forward. And that's what retrogrades are all about. They're about reassessment, reevaluation, reprioritization, recollaboration, re, you know, rejuvenation. It is a time to rest. When planets retrograde, it's a slow down process, meaning that <clears throat> from us perspective, the way point of view and how Earth is seeing Mercury at the moment, it almost looks as an optical illusion that Mercury is moving backwards. So if you think about it, it's almost like your mind feels foggy because Mercury rules our intellect, our mind, how we think, our communication, our speech. And this is where our speech can get very murky. And what we say to or trying to say to someone comes out the wrong way. Another thing that happens during Mercury retrograde, which I love, is information comes to light. If there's any information you wanted to know previously, you can now get that information. Mercury retrograde is not a time to sign new contracts, new deals. If you have to do it, read and reread. This is because you're not mentally aware and sometimes you might sign something and then later on regret it once mercury goes direct so to avoid those issues <clears throat> be aware of that also i've noticed during mercury retrogrades people's throat chakras communication you can find that you suffer more with a raspy throat so drink plenty of water take your vitamin c look after your immune system it's so important and i really suggest that because mercury is retrograding in the sign of virgo now virgo is the sixth house it's a mutable sign it's an earth sign so it's about adaptability and change so we need to change things virgo rules over our mental emotional and physical health all aspects of health and how you take care of yourself and your body so how do you talk to yourself what is going on within your mind this is where we can suffer with mental stress and that can later on create us to feel unwell. What we think affects our body. What we feel affects our body. Emotionally, what are you feeling? This is a great time to release those feelings. This will be a great time to clean up 
your mind, how you think. Use positive affirmations. I'm healthy. I'm blessed. I connect to people that help me. Um, everywhere I go, I'm met with opportunities. I'm at the right place, right time. Trust in that. This is where we need to think correctly. Otherwise, our mind can take us on a wild goose chase, and this will really be mentally exhausting and also affect our body. So be aware of that. Emotionally, how are you taking care of yourself? Emotionally, are you eating? Are you sleeping? How much water are you drinking? Are you exercising? Move your body. Moving your body will be so important, important and so good for you during this Mercury retrograde, especially to help with sluggishness. So health. Remember, Virgo is health. Virgo is health. And how we take care of ourselves is so important. Energetically, how do you take care of yourself? What do you allow into your energy? Who do you allow into your energy? What is going on within your space? Clear it up, clean it up. Clear up your mind, clear up your heart. Clear up your body by moving, breathing, exercising. And clear up your energy by watching who you associate with and balancing yourself out and staying grounded. Remember that Virgo is an earth sign. Grounding is so important. Getting out into nature, standing barefoot and connecting to the earth. So important. What we can be met with, and like I said, we could notice our health take a bit of a, a slump. So watch your health, mentally, emotionally and physically. Like emotionally, all of those things affect health. Another thing with Virgo, Virgo rules a day-to-day -day routine. So how do you, what do you do within your day? And that's so important. We could be met with more delays within our day-to-day -day routine. So do not get frustrated and aggravated. It's a slowdown process. We are meant to slow down. Your routine, you know, getting up in the morning, brushing your teeth, going to work, or sending out your emails, your routine can take a bit of a slower pace. And do not get frustrated by that. Another thing about Virgo rules acts of service. So make sure, you know, when you are, you know, when I say acts of service, who do you take care of? Who takes care of you? Are you taking care of yourself? Taking care of yourself is an act of service to yourself, loving yourself. So with this Mercury retrograde, because it rules acts of service, we'll also be asking ourselves, how do I take care of my home? How do I take care of the people around me? What do I do for them? And is this something that is taking away from my energy? Am I just stuck with all the dirty dishes at the end of the day? <laughs> you know? Am I just stuck with all the housework? Am I just stuck with all the responsibilities? This is something that we will be rethinking a lot about. This is where any information, especially gossip, can come to light because Mercury retrogrades love to give us information. And this is good for you. And this is where you know where you stand with others. So information, secrets, what's done in secret, the information now comes to light. Beautiful time for that to happen. Exes can come back and people from your past can come back into your life during a Mercury retrograde. Best advice I can give you for this Mercury retrograde. Take care of yourself. Do not get stressed if your day-to-day -day routine does not go according to plan. This is a great time to clear up your life reassess who you have in your life, reassess your situation, your environment. All of those things are so important. People who go to work and end up having more issues with coworkers, especially, because it's a part of our routine. Virgo also rules where we go to work because it's part of our routine. So take a deep breath in, watch for what you say. This is where we can send the wrong message to the wrong person send the wrong email off or thought we sent that email off but didn't send it off. So just be prepared for that. Take it easy. Love yourself and be gentle with yourself. Okay? Aries. So this beautiful Mercury retrograde is asking you to check in with your health, physically, mentally, and emotionally. How are you taking care of yourself? What are you thinking? Is your thoughts polluting your mind and making it hard for you to concentrate? What are you thinking? Clear that up. This is the time to now focus on, you know, really focus on what you wish to allow into your mind that is healthy for you. This is all about your health. And it also has to do about your environment, who is in your environment, what's you know, unhealthy that's in your environment. People too can be unhealthy, especially people that complain a lot. So 
You're cutting out all of that. You're looking at your emotions too. Are there too many heavy emotions that you're keeping within your heart that you need to release? Because it's going to just affect your body. And then finally, the body. How are you eating? How are you sleeping? Are you taking care of your physical body? Your physical body is so important. It is your vehicle of life and how you take care of yourself. So be aware of that. Take care of your body. Drink water. Take Eat vegetables. Really boost your immune system exercise. You might even be thinking about how what you can do to improve your health because this mercury retrograde impacts your health, your day-to-day -day routine. If you met up with delays and frustrations because of these delays, breathe in, breathe out. Do not take it so personally. Know that this is just the retrograde phase. When it comes to co-workers or people that you share an environment, share your routine with, even at home, you might notice more miscommunication and a lot more conflict there. This is a time to think about how you want to express yourself a lot, and especially clearly. You might even notice the people you've worked with from the past we enter into your life during this time. This is a time for you to really assess your routine and your day-to-day -day work life. Even reassess if you have a job, reassess where you're working. How's the environment? Does something need to change? Mercury retrogrades are not about making changes, but it's about reassessment in order to make the changes when Mercury goes direct on the 15th of September. So just reassess things within your life. Clear out what is no longer serving you mentally, emotionally. It can even be relationships too. In relationships that take a toll on you or ask too much of your day-to-day -day time that you do not have time for yourself, you'll be thinking about putting an end to. Taurus, the next three weeks are very vital for you to reflect on what give you, has given you pleasure, what creative projects or hobbies that gave you pleasure previously. You are now able to pick those things up again. It's asking you to revisit fun and pleasure within your life. And if there's any creative projects that you're working on, you can complete it at this time. So this is really a time of asking yourself pleasure, enjoyment, what's given me these things and how can I bring it back into my life? You can complete, like I said, any creative projects that you have been working on, you can do so. Your love life and romance, exes might come back into your life, especially from the time of when Mercury goes retrograde, 23rd of August until the 3rd of September until Venus goes direct. And this is because of Venus, your ruler being retrograde, as well as Mercury, now retrograde, also connecting to past lovers and past romantic experiences. When it comes to your love life, you could, in an existing relationship, have miscommunication, misunderstandings, and conflict. Even arguments of the past may be brought up now during this time. Mercury retrograde is asking you to reassess your romantic life, to reassess as well your creative projects and what truly gives you pleasure. And if relationships aren't giving you this joy within your life, you now will be feeling the need to put an end to it because you're seeking pleasure, you're seeking enjoyment. And this Mercury retrograde really asks the big question, what gives you fun? What used to give you fun? And are you having fun? And what's important to you right now? And fun is a vital part of life. Fun is where we give birth to new ideas, creativity. It's where every single thing starts. Even businesses sometimes, it's through having fun and creativity and these ideas. It's what inspires us. It what breaks us free and comes, brings us back with new ideas. So understand that that's what this Mercury retrograde is showing you, your pleasure within life and reassessing that and what it means to you. And also cutting out what doesn't give you fun anymore. Gemini, this Mercury retrograde and Mercury being your ruler, oh, Watch how you communicate, watch how you express yourself. Miscommunication can happen, conflicts can happen. People maybe they had it in for you can now bring back that issue. So people from the past can re-enter your life. Mercury retrogrades for Geminis is pretty a time where things pick up with quite intensity. Watch everything that you sign, any documents, read and reread. This Mercury retrograde for you is working with your family. So you might reconnect with family members, family members that you haven't reconnected with in a, in a long time. You might even bring out the old family book and look at photos. You might also visit a place that your family used to live at. You are taking a trip down memory lane. This Mercury retrograde touches on your deepest, most inner emotions. And you could be feeling very emotionally sensitive. 
When it comes to your home life, you could also come across miscommunication when it comes to your domestic people that live with you domestically. Or maybe if you have a landlord or something like that, you could get into this miscommunication and misunderstandings with the landlord. When it comes to your rent, leases, anything like that that is to do with your home, documentation for your home, read, read, read before you sign it. And make sure that, especially with rents and bills and so forth like that, that everything is paid. You don't want to forget about it. Mercury retrograde can give us that mental fog. So make sure everything is done. Dot your T's, cross your I's. This will not be the ideal time for you to move if you have to. Make sure that, you know, you read all information very clearly. This is a great time to declutter your home. It's a great time to get comfortable, like meaning lay on the couch and watch a movie. You know, especially some maybe a movie too that you've watched from childhood or something from the past. This is really taking you back. Allow Mercury retrograde to take you back. There's healing for you then. Oh, Cancer, Mercury retrograde has you saying the wrong thing at the wrong time or people misunderstanding what you were saying. You know, a lot of conflict with your communication. Watch how you're thinking. This Mercury retrograde can really put your mind on a go slow. Like you just don't have the mental capacity <laughs> for people and communication right now. So if you need to say something, think about before you express it. Like I said, people too are misunderstanding your words or you yourself could put your foot in your mouth and say the wrong thing. When it comes to the things that you need to get done, errands and so forth, please give yourself enough time, get out a to-do list and so you can check these things off. When it comes to your vehicle, you more so than most people make sure that everything is in check right do all the checks you need to do oil water tires so forth if you need to make any short distance trips in your neighborhood even make sure that everything is right when it comes to your vehicle you can have more delays when it comes to transportation doesn't only have to be your motor vehicle it can also be any public transport that you're using you would have more delays Give yourself enough time to get to places. Also, people that might have ghosted you or stopped communicating with you might come back into your life. If there's any conversations that ended in a bad way with conflict, they now can also be picked up to be rehearsed and rethought about and to have that conversation again with someone. It will come up if you're communicating with anyone and this comes up. Think about things, reassess it, and understand why this is coming up. Mercury Retrograde wants you to reassess past conflicts past words, past communications, difficult communications, especially difficult conversations. So all of those things might come up. So you more than anyone take a lot of time to breathe and to mentally calm your mind because your mind can feel very exhausted by a lot of what's going on. And you yourself might be thinking a lot about the past or even thinking about communicating with someone from the past. Leo, so Mercury goes retrograde on the 23rd of August and we now also with the sun will move into Virgo season as well. Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Virgo and this for you has you reassessing your finances, reassessing your money, reassessing how you've been spending your money. How have you been spending your money? Venus is retrograding in the sign of Leo until 3rd of September. So this is really asking you, especially with the Venus retrograde, reassessing your sense of self-worth and how you value yourself. Now this Mercury retrograde is asking to look at your money, your income, your skills, your talents. Are you getting paid for your skills and talents? Is what you're getting paid for feeling of value to you? When it comes to your spending habits, what did you spend money on? Is it now where you have to budget better? This Mercury retrograde asks you to reassess your finances and how you spend your money. This is where you might even come across unexpected bills that you need to pay during this time. So watch your money under this Mercury retrograde until the 15th. So really watch it. Watch what you're spending on. This would not be the time to go out and buy that luxurious item. No, this would be the time to rethink about it. And also anything that you purchase, once Mercury goes direct, you might feel like, why did I buy that? <laughs> So, a lot to do with your money and income. Skills and talents from the past you can pick up at this time. So, if there's something you wanted to learn, if there's something you wanted to do, you're now thinking about implementing into your life in order to boost your income. If there's anything you've been working on from the past, you could get paid during this time. So, say there's money's owed to you from something, you could get that money back. 
but this will really be a time where you reassessing your money and like for instance say you have to travel to work and so forth you'll be asking how much should i pay for fuel how much should i pay for like for gas fuel how much should i need to pay for that how much do I need to pay for my lunch? How far away is it? How much of my time, because time is equated to money, is am I using to get to where I need to be and spending there and to come back home? And am I getting paid what I feel is necessary for me and what changes I can make going forward? So do not make these changes during Mercury retrograde. This is the reassessment point. This is where you're looking at this money that you have and you're reassessing, how do I move forward? What changes do I need to make? Because if this is not working for me, what changes do I need to make in order for things to work out for me in the future? So that I have the finances I want, that I'm working on the skills and talents that give me value and joy within my life. Virgo, Mercury is retrograding in your sign. Mercury is your ruler. So all the miscommunication, the delays and so forth is what Mercury generally brings. And you're always impacted by Mercury retrograde. Delays, people from the past wanting to come back into your life. Information, secrets can, can come to light. All sorts of Mercury related things. Watch your vehicle, make sure that you check it. You know, oil, water, so forth. Make sure you have enough gas before you want to go somewhere. Make sure that everything is in alignment when it comes to your vehicle and public transport if you need to use that as well. Make sure that you have enough time Time is also what sometimes can get away with us during a Mercury retrograde and also clear your mind. We can't suffer with the mental fog. Now, Mercury retrograde is retrograding in your sign, so this is impacting you personally. This is where conflicts can happen when it comes to you. People misunderstand you, people misunderstand what you're saying. They're not they're not really getting you right now. And everyone from the past can come back into your life. This is a time for you to reassess yourself and the people around you in happenings with your goals because when we're talking about yourself what are your goals what's taking you away from your goals and how can you think clearly in order to get where you want to be take care of your physical body as well right this is where you can find yourself feeling more physically exhausted right your body just feels like it wants to lay down <laughs> but you have things to do and this Mercury retrograde is asking to reassess how you're taking care of your body. How are you communicating? What are you thinking? Especially that it's bringing your energy levels down. And if other people are misunderstanding you and not getting you right now, breathe. It's Mercury retrograde. Do not get frustrated. This just makes things become more um, amplified, in other words. So take a moment and breathe. Be gentle with yourself. This Mercury retrograde really wants you to reassess who you are, what you want, who do you want around you, what's your environment like, how do you take care of your body, and those things are so important. Those where you might even find your physical health you might be feeling a bit more drained. You might feel yourself feeling physically unwell. So reassess everything and everyone in connection to you, and make changes necessary in order for you to live your most healthiest life, and just take it easy. Libra, this Mercury retrograde is asking you to close doors and chapters that no longer serve you. This is what brings self-sabotage to light. And it has to do with people and situations and how you think about yourself. This Mercury retrograde asks you to face your shadow self, your darker self. This is where we feel fear, afraid. And it's asking you to see what's going on in your subconscious and psyche that allows you to sabotage yourself. Where do you people please? Where do you bend? This is a time for empowerment and to let go of that. This is where people from the long, 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 long time past can come back into your life. Years with Mercury retrograde here, especially for you. You might be thinking about things that happened long ago, all of a sudden. If it's being brought up now, it asks for reassessment in order for you to release and let it go. This will be a Mercury retrograde for closing doors and closing chapters, and you are releasing and letting go more than anyone else. You might be feeling very exhausted during this Mercury retrograde. You might not even feel like communicating, <laughs> right? Which is your very sociable sign, but this is where you might be feeling like you're more withdrawn and to yourself. Give yourself the time to be by yourself. It is a Mercury retrograde for solitude for you. Meditation, astrology, energy healing, anything, crystals, color therapy, 
Anything to do with esoterics will be very healing and transformative for you right now. This is a very healing time for you. Even physically, anything that you can do to help your health will be really good for you. And this is where your body is even purging out things that happened a long time ago. Our body holds stress, our body holds emotions, our body holds trauma. And when we are feeling unwell, this is a process of our bodies releasing that. So allow your body the time to release and heal, protect yourself, ground yourself, protection crystals of black tourmaline, uh, tiger's eye is also very good, onyx, smoky quartz. You will need a lot of grounding and you might even feel more foggy than most people, but it's a deep emotional healing. You might even be emotional during this Mercury retrograde as you are clearing out years, years upon years of pain, hurt, and unfairness to yourself done by other people. And this is where maybe you yourself probably even agreed to these situations you know, just to not get into conflict or to please, or not even knowing what a person's about or a situation's about, but this is where you are now finally closing the door. Give yourself this Mercury retrograde to heal, let go, say no more, more than you've ever before, because come the 14th of October, there's a solar eclipse new moon, and it's the time for you to be reborn. So in order for you to reborn, you can't carry this baggage anymore. Scorpio, powerful. Mercury retrograde for you. This is where friends from the past may reconnect with you. This is where you'll be reassessing the connections that you keep within your life. Friendships, work groups, family groups, the moments of group, you're reassessing your social interactions. A lot of miscommunication and conflict can happen with your social interactions at this time. So be aware of that and think before you express yourself. If you see other people just expressing themselves and putting their foot in their mouth, you know, this gives you an insight as a Scorpio into their character. <laughs> and you might even hear things that give you deeper insights into people. This Mercury retrograde asks you to, you know, think about your future hopes and dreams and the ones that you let go of, the ones that you did not, you know, follow through on. Maybe life threw you a fork in the road and you had to stop what you were doing. And this Mercury retrograde gives you the opportunity to pick up future hopes and dreams that you have for yourself that you have to let go of and you can now bring it back to life. This Mercury retrograde also can bring up a lot of technology difficulties for you. Um, even socially, on the internet, you can have people wanting to come at you, say things like, oh, you know, just disengage from all of that. This is just people being petty and, you know, critical. It is a Mercury retrograde in Virgo, so this is where people are extra critical. So be prepared for that. You just focus on the future dreams that you have for yourself. What dreams that you let go of? What future hopes that you have for yourself that you thought weren't possible? This Mercury retrograde says to you, hey, you can make it possible. Focus on you. Do not interact with people that you no longer wish to interact with and focus on how you can make these things true for you. Sagittarius, this Mercury retrograde is asking you, to reassess your career, your goals, and as well as your sense of purpose. How are you leading in life? So if you are a leader, this is asking you to reassess that. Which ways are you leading? Which is the best way? This Mercury retrograde, if you applied for any career changes prior, you could get like, oh my gosh, like the letter or the information now, or the someone might contact you to say, hey, you got the job, or hey, yes, you can now come and do this thing that you've applied for previously. But ideally, this Mercury retrograde asks you to reassess your career, reassess your responsibilities. How much responsibilities do you have on you? Are the responsibilities too much? Where do you need help? Authority figures would come down on you. Authority figures can be parents. Authority figures can be employers, if especially employers. This can create a lot of work drama. It's your career, right? So any place, even, and you don't have, say you don't have a career. So you're studying something and this is going to get you into the sense of purpose that you want to go down. This is where you'll reassess that. But if there's teachers there, you know, lecturers there, this is where they're coming down on you. Any person in authority or a higher position than you. So that's why parents fall here, employers fall here, um, lecturers, teachers, anyone in authority, even like, you know, 
lawyers, anyone like that, this is where you might get those people coming down on you the hardest. People that feel, or even people that feel they have authority over you. So say you're in a relationship and your partner feels they have an authority over you. Guess what? They'll be asking you like, why did you not take care of this responsibility and that responsibility? And this is your responsibility. This is all your responsibilities in life. This is where you're responsible for yourself. But this Mercury retrograde will say, hey, I need to reassess my responsibilities and how much I have on my plate. Do the goals that I want, are they, you know, what I'm doing is it taking me there? My sense of purpose, do I feel fulfilled? And yes, maybe I might be feeling fulfilled, but how much responsibility is on my plate that I'm not taking care of myself? You can suffer from burnout the most. So make sure that you take care of yourself. You take care of yourself. Do not overdo it. If too many people are asking you for too much to do, you need to be like, wait, hold on. Because this is where you can um, kind of say yes to everything and then later on feel overwhelmed and maybe fall short and not do what you needed to do. And this is where people can look at you and be like, hey, your sense of reputation. Where people come at you and be like, mm, I thought you were more put together than this. I thought you had it together. I thought you were capable. No. Slow down. One step at a time. Make sure the things that you're responsible for, you are okay to do it. And don't be responsible for everyone and everything. And if anyone's coming down too hard on you, there's a time for you to ask yourself, I know myself, I know my priorities. Priorities is a big one, yeah. And what's important to me. If you're going through any career reassessment times, this is a time where you'll be really reassessing your career you and your goals. Goals is what's personal to you right and ask yourself what truly matters capricorn if you have to make any trips vacations holidays long distance trips check all your plans check your itinerary check the time you're leaving make sure that everything you're fully aware of it because delays can happen during this time if there are delays breathe in breathe out do not get frustrated no it's mostly retrograde and things will get along moving quite nicely eventually <laughs> right um when it comes to your sense of beliefs, this is where you are reassessing your beliefs about yourself, about the world around you. Give yourself this time to reassess your beliefs. Mercury retrogrades are great for reassessments, reevaluations, and sometimes the beliefs that we hold about ourselves are keeping ourselves back, and we need to discard them in order to adopt new approaches and new beliefs. And you might even connect to someone that you were studying with from school, right? Someone that you were going to school with might come back into your life. You'll also be reassessing your education and how far you've got it and, you know, what choices did you make when it comes to your education and even reassessing maybe learning something from previously that you thought you, didn't, you couldn't complete, you now want to go back to it. This is a time to look at your learning and information capabilities. If there's anything that you're putting out into the public, you might be, or like um, publications, you're reassessing those things. You're reassessing that blog maybe you did. You're reassessing that post you might have did. This is where you're reassessing things in order to make improvements. But the biggest shift will come with your sense of beliefs, beliefs that you need to discard in order to shift them, or maybe even adopt beliefs that you previously had. Maybe the beliefs that you have now made you dwindle in the self-belief that you had previously. And now you are shifting in believing new things. You're looking at what you are studying and what you are learning. You could even pick up something that you wanted to study previously or even completing something that you are studying at this time. But you're really looking at the information higher learning. Because it's a monthly retrograde, you might be feeling very slow when it comes to learning. Give yourself a break, take time, process what you can, concentrate when you can, and then move forward. So anything when it has to be with like, if you need to send out that essay, right? Make sure that you take your time to do so especially written works that you have to do when it comes to learning and information. If you're designed to write a book, write a blog, write a post, reassess everything before you put it out there. Aquarius, this Mercury retrograde has you reassessing taxes, investments, and so forth like that. So anything, especially joint income, so if you're staying with someone or partnering up with someone, joint income you're reassessing. And if it's not joint income, you're reassessing taxes, you reassessing investments and so forth. That's what you're doing during this Mercury retrograde. It's a great time to research everything when it has to do with your taxes and um, where you're investing your energy, your finances, how you are taking care of yourself. This Mercury retrograde for you has you facing power struggles, power dynamics, secrets. Major secrets can come to light for you during this Mercury retrograde. 
information um, as well as power plays, power dynamics, people that hold power over you thought they hold, held power over you, people that wanted to bully you, <laughs> right? This is where they come back into your life and they have a few words to say to you. So this is a time to really step into your power. This Mercury retrograde wants you to test your power and to be leave in yourself and step into empowerment. You might also have to face your deepest fears, your deepest anxieties, your deepest pain, your deepest trauma. This Mercury retrograde could even trigger you to bring up trauma from the past in order for you to heal it. This Mercury retrograde is deeply healing for you, but psychologically. It has to do with your psychological and psyche, how you have experienced trauma in the past and how those are created fears and how these fears are now holding you back so that you can now let them go in order to step into empowerment. It's also focusing on power plays. This is where someone might have deceived you and that's a power play and a manipulation. You're sifting through all the manipulations and power plays. You're stepping up into empowerment and by doing so, you're saying no more to manipulation, no more to power plays. You're researching you know, everything within your life, your finances, your home life, you know, you're looking at everything more clearly. And this is a deep healing process for you during this time. Pisces, Mercury retrograde. So Mercury retrograde is happening opposite you. Your one-on-one -on -one relationships, a lot of miscommunication, misunderstandings, conflicts within relationships can come up during this time. And this is just where people that you know might just bring up past events and want to rehash those all situations with you. This Mercury retrograde is asking you to reassess your one-on-one -on -one connections with others, how you communicate and how others communicate with you. If there's anyone from the past, both personally and professionally, they can now re-enter into your lives or want to contact you, or you might be thinking about contacting them, or you might go to bed and have a dream about someone from your past. Any one-on-one -on -one connections. But the most important thing is that this Mercury retrograde really brings up a lot of miscommunication, misunderstandings and conflicts when it comes to your one-on-one -on -one connections. And this is important. So if you're sending out any emails, text messages or communicating, make sure you send it to the right person. Think about things before you express yourself in order to lessen the miscommunication and the conflict. If anyone else wants to bring up the past to you, this is a time to hear them out. Mercury retrogrades are a time for us to reevaluate the past and this could also be a time where you still might feel the same way and still will keep the same boundaries. But you are knowing when we keep holding the same boundaries, we keep saying, this is what I no longer want to in my life. So the more the past comes back, it's not a bad thing during a month retrograde. It comes back to test us, to test our faith, to see like, wait a minute, I reassessed this. Was I wrong? Was I, do I feel I did like overdid it? Or do I feel... No, that was cruel treatment to me. I was not deserving of that. And I still keep the same boundaries. Keeping those same boundaries says to the universe, hey, this is what I no longer want. But you can have a lot of misunderstandings and miscommunication when it comes to your one-on-one -on -one connections. And like I said, people from the past will come back into your life because it is your one-on-one -on -one connections. Friends, family, anyone that you were communicating with the one-on-one -on -one can just re-emerge into your life. And this Mercury retrograde tells you, look back, see how far you've come, see how you've grown. Spend time rejuvenating your soul, especially emotionally. And know you got this. There is a powerful super full moon, blue moon in the sign of Pisces on the 30th of August. So you're releasing a lot of what no longer serves you. So use this Mercury retrograde to reassess things and see who you are and who you want to be and how you want to move forward.